Divine and I'm from West Columbia. And you're watching another Moto 6 Sanity Moto Vlog. Because Moto 6 made you do it. Two wheel life. And I'm watching another Moto 6 vlog. Because Moto 6 Sanity told me so. Peace. What's up everybody, Moto6 Sanity here, and welcome to Season 3, Episode 1 of Moto6 Sanity Moto Vlogs. And it's great to be back. Y'all guys have been wondering what has been under the blue hood, so I ripped it back today just so y'all guys can see exactly what's going on here. Uh, back in the past, if y'all guys paid attention to my other Moto Vlogs, I mentioned that I had a 2013 Hyundai Veloster Turbo. And uh, unfortunately, I got in a car accident years ago, and I never actually got the car fixed. So we're going to dive down in a lot of information and talk about this car and exactly what's the future of this car and what we're going to be doing with it. So without further ado, let's get started with another Moto 6 Sandy Moto Vlog. I am obviously your host. So sit back and relax and enjoy the episode. So everybody, this is Genova. She is my 2013 Hyundai Veloster Turbo. Um, as I said in the beginning of the video, I got into a car accident almost about two years ago, and uh, insurance just would not take care of me. So the car has just been sitting back here uh, collecting dust, as you can see. And um, there's not much wrong with her, actually. She just has a couple of things that needs to be taken care of in the front and uh, she should be able to go just a couple of components a radiator and stuff like that just a small stuff maybe some headlights and whatever but um the battery is unhooked right now when i do crank it up she sounds great she sounds she purrs like a kitten she really does but um it's just she's not really drivable at the moment because like i said there's a lot of frame uh framework that i have to take care of uh, a couple of dinks that i have to take care of like you see right here this is actually a moisture barrier not really a car cover so there's moisture and everything that's all in the car that's not really a big deal that can always be fixable but as you can see here um an 18 wheeler and i collided um on the way to go pick up my mother about two years ago and luckily i survived the accident as you guys can see here the damage is pretty pretty gruesome it's pretty horrible you can see there the radiator is bent framework is busted you know it's 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 a lot of stuff that needs to be done and um around about the estimate it's going to be around about four grand maybe five grand to take care of it so um i figured today was a good day that we can actually talk about the car I'm going to open this up. As you can tell, the framework is is, is bad. The doors are bent. Um, you can kind of hear the door cracking. You can see some of the uh, mold or whatever that's being in here. But that's, that's because of the uh, the moisture barrier that they put over the, uh, over the car. And um, peep the sticker right here. It says, warning, no, stup uh, no, no stupid people beyond this point. I put that on there about two years ago. I went down to... Uh, folly beach so if you guys have ever seen my car down there that guys know i got the folly beach sticker on the back um the tail lights are plasti dipped so yummy r6 if you're watching you can actually plasti dip your headlights if you want to to give them a tint color i'll probably do a tutorial on that later on if you guys are interested in that um the spoiler is actually plasti dipped i plasti dipped my rims and yes they do last depending on how you plasti dip them that's that and the gas cap is also plasti dip now here's the cool thing about this car even though it's broke down and looks all dinky and stuff once it's fixed up it's great if i can find some old pictures i'll throw some pictures up and show you guys how the car looked before she 
got into an accident but the cool thing about the Hyundai Veloster Turbo if you guys don't know it's a hatchback it's also a coupe but here's the cool thing three doors one two and three isn't that cool has three doors and it has a lot of room in the back and it seats four people but you can really squeeze five in here no problem I've done it before and um, I had a lot of memories in this car guys a lot of memories and uh, I'll even sit down in it real quick give you guys a nice little uh, tutorial well, I said tutorial a nice review on the inside of the car the console and everything is still all intact the um, gearbox is still good everything is great guys I just need some new airbags like I said and maybe some um, components for up front for like the uh, the radiator and the um, I think the air box or mass overflow whatever you want to call it on that stuff that needs to be fixed and eventually I get the speakers and everything else is fixed as well but other than that the car is still in great condition I wish it had a sunroof though I swear but um this is my baby and I figure now is the time to reveal her and tell you guys exactly what we're planning on doing with this and what's gonna be the future of this car and how it's going to be featured on the channel so without further ado let's go ahead and start talking about some of this oh it's good to be back oh what's up everybody um we're now on the road um and I want to talk to you guys about the 2013 Hyundai Velocity Turbo that I have, all right? Um, listen, um, insurance just did not take care of me. Um, sometimes, you know, you can pay your insurance on time, you can have full coverage, and there are certain loopholes and certain things that that just can't take care of you, just to certain things. Uh, I have went from lawyer to lawyer, and they just weren't able really to help me out. And uh, my car is basically, you know, is, is basically sitting there. It's basically done. And I don't really know what to do at this point. And I really want to do a awesome wreck car rebuild series. So with that being said, um, I would really, really, really love to, <coughs> excuse me, actually to do like a um, awesome wreck car build series where I customized the whole entire Hyundai Veloster Turbo and I'll be able to do motor vlogs with the car. Now uh, as you guys know I have a uh, Patreon account where you guys can go donate and help me out with the fundings so I can get this started. Um, like I said being a motor vlogger is not easy. Um, a lot of people think you know just being a motor vlogger you can simply uh, just gross in a lot of money and a lot of income and, and you're set for the rest of your life and that's not true. Um, you can ask any of the well-established motor vloggers today like Chase on Two Wheels and Yummy and Dan and Jake the Garden Snake. Uh, you know those guys that tell you um, even Snooge those guys that tell you you know being a motor vlogger uh, or just being a vlogger in general uh, is not it's not easy you don't just make instant money just like that it really takes time uh, a long time really to do that and my um, my 2008 Yamaha R6 Roxanne she is the only transportation that I have right now um, so it's kind of hard uh, you know basically dealing with just a motorcycle as your main transportation because I mean you know, it's kind of hard doing, you know, groceries or actual shopping or anything like that. I really have to get just small items, uh, unless if I use, like, my aunt's car, you know, or somebody else's car, or something like that. So it's really, really, really hard on me. Uh, so what I'm planning on doing is, and I kindly ask y'all guys, if y'all watching this video, if y'all guys could donate to my Patreon, okay? It doesn't matter what tier y'all guys uh, donate. I think there's, like, a, a $1, a $5, a $10, and a $20 tier. Whatever it is y'all guys donate, I will send a token of appreciation to y'all guys. And um, y'all guys will be able, I'll have y'all guys featured on the Red Car Rebuilt series. So when I start doing the series, y'all guys will be credited in that for basically donating to the, um, donating to the channel and donating to the Red Car Rebuilt. And if y'all guys could do that, I would really appreciate it. 
Um, I think the last time I talked to the guy, he said somewhere around around about four thousand, five thousand dollars. But he said if that's all with like new parts, uh, we're just going with used parts. So he said somewhere I'm estimating somewhere around about three thousand dollars. So if we can raise three thousand dollars, um, it'll be great. Uh, I would love to go ahead and do a awesome. Um, I would love to go ahead and do an awesome rec car rebuild series. So if y'all guys will go to my Patreon account and please donate, um, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm asking kindly if y'all guys could please donate uh, to my channel and help me out and raise some money. That way I can get it. That's my Uncle Jake right there. So I can, um, so I can, uh, yeah, yeah, that was my Uncle Jake. I'm sorry, I got distracted, guys. I'm my Uncle Jake. He went down to the road. He was so hungry, he said he had to get himself a sandwich because it's been a long day. Uh, there's just been a lot of stuff that's been going on in the family. Um, unfortunately, my grandmother had a major stroke and a heart attack, and uh, the family is going through a lot right now, so everyone is kind of, like, sticking together. Everyone is at the house right now. I have, like, probably, gosh, about 10 family members at the house right now. Uh, simply because my grandmother has been very very ill and she really can't do for herself and um, Anyway, I'm getting I'm getting a little bit off topic. I'm sorry, uh, but uh, I plan on doing a red car uh, red car rebuild series So if y'all guys could please donate to the channel, I would highly appreciate it. And like I said, I will do a, um, a token of appreciation. I will send y'all guys a whole bunch of uh, stickers and keychains. It'll be like an awesome gift package uh, that I will send to you guys. So whoever donates to my uh, Moto6 Sanity uh, Patreon, <clears throat> and I'll put a link in the descriptions, and I'll put a link somewhere up here on the screen so y'all guys can uh, get an idea of where to go to online. But it's patreon.com slash Moto6 Sanity. And y'all guys, if like I said, if y'all guys donate, um, I really appreciate it. And I'll send y'all guys a token of appreciation. It'll be like a cool gift basket with a whole bunch of Moto6 Sanity related stuff. Um, I got like stickers and key, um, oh, excuse me, stickers and key tags and a whole bunch of other stuff that are in the process of being made. And I will send those out to everyone who basically donates to my channel. And if y'all guys would do that, I really do appreciate it. And like I said, you will be credited in the Red Car Rebuild series, so we can get this, uh, so we can get this car basically back on the road. And I'll be able to do motor vlogs for you guys and bring more new content to the channel. Uh, as I said before, we're also doing different content for the channel. It's going to be Moto Vlog Mondays, which is today. This is another Moto Vlog Monday, my first ever Moto Vlog Monday. Uh, or, or anyone would probably say a Moto 6 Monday. Um, and then we have Weird Vlog Wednesdays where I do some weird stuff on my motorcycle. And then we have Fan Mail Fridays. Now starting tomorrow, I am going to my local post office. I am setting up a P.O. box. So y'all guys get ready. Y'all guys can start sending fan mail and a whole bunch of stuff like that. And we'll start doing fan mail Fridays where I record, open up all my fan mail letters and packages, whatever y'all guys send me. Um, and I told y'all guys before, y'all guys can send me a whole bunch of weird things. It doesn't matter what it is. I, you know, I'm a huge Star Wars fan. I'm a Power Rangers fan. I'm an anime fan. I like everything. I'm a big, huge uh, fan of almost everything. So send me whatever it is that guys want to send me. And uh, I'll open those packages, give y'all guys a shout out in those. And another thing I want to talk about is um, if y'all guys could send to my business email, go to moto6sanity at gmail.com and send me a clip of you. I want you to send me a clip of you and you will be featured in my intros. So um, I want you guys to basically state your name. Like for instance, uh, my name is Brandon. I'm from South Carolina and this is another Moto6 Sandy Moto Vlog. And you're watching another Moto6 Sandy Moto Vlog because Moto6 Sandy made you do it. That's all you got to say, simple as that. And you put that on there and I will use your clip in the intros uh, of each week, every person will get a chance to be featured, and you guys will be also featured on the channel. So make sure y'all guys go do that for me if y'all don't mind. Make a clip on your smartphone, or if you're if you have a GoPro, you can use your GoPro and send a clip for me, and just simply state your name, where you're from, and say you're. Um, this is another most exciting motor vlog. And you're watching another Moto 6 Sandy Motor Vlog because Moto 6 Sandy made you do it. That's all. 
and I would highly appreciate it. And um, yeah, guys, we got a lot of stuff coming up. Like I said, this is just another Moto Vlog Monday. That's what I like to call it, or Moto Six Monday. And um, we're just gonna be talking about various episodes and doing Moto Vlogs on Mondays. Wednesdays will be the, almost the same thing, but I just be doing weird stuff. And then on Fridays we have fan mail, so hopefully we'll see how fan mail goes as well. I think it's going to be great. But this is going to be new content. Um, Where they be trolling any hot girls? Not like I used to. Um, uh, now, if the opportunity pre uh, presents itself, and you know, if it's just harmless fun, then yeah, I, I might do something just to make y'all guys laugh. But it's not going to be hardcore. Uh, you know trolling hot girls like I used to it's not gonna be the perverted stuff like I used to uh, used to do um, And y'all guys already know the reasoning behind that so we're not gonna be doing that anymore But we will still troll people and not just hot girls. It will be people so girls guys Everybody is gonna get trolled so um, it's not just all female related, you know type of things uh, uh, How some people would say uh, sexual humor. It's not just gonna be about that So it's gonna be about a whole bunch of stuff so um, eventually, like I said, if the opportunity presents itself, we will do that as well. Now, you guys are probably wondering, how did I wreck the car? Well, I was on my way to pick up my mother from work, and I was doing the speed limit. I was not speeding. I wasn't doing any of that type of stuff. I'm not really a speed demon. You know what I'm saying? Like, I love speed, but I'm not, I'm not the type of person where I do some fast and furious type of shit. And I was doing the speed limit. It was just about about 50 in the in the town. And um, speed limit was dropping down to 45 or so, or whatever. So I dropped my speed down. And I saw these cars. They were going around the corner. And um, it was a, a a pickup truck that was in front of a white car. And then there was an 18 wheeler behind the white car. And then there was me. So. The green pickup truck decided to slam on brakes and turn left into oncoming traffic to go into this churchyard. And then that caused the white car in front of the 18 wheeler to slam on brakes. And it also caused the, um, the 18 wheeler to slam on brakes and myself. And it was like a chain reaction. It all just started, um, everyone just started slamming on brakes and nobody was able to avoid the accident. And I ended up colliding with the 18-wheeler. The 18-wheeler ended up colliding with the white car. The white car left the scene. And then I got a ticket as I was the one that caused the accident. And I was banged up. I was bruised up in the hospital. My lungs and everything was bruised. Uh, I had internal swelling. I had some internal bleeding. It was horrible, guys. It was really horrible. And the officer was like, I hate to do this to you, but here's your ticket. You know, I was like, ticket? And I had I had a fine. I forgot what the fine was. And I was, and he put me down as the, uh, the default of the, uh, well, not the default, the, f uh, the fault of the accident. I was the one that caused it. That's what he was saying. So I took the officer to court and I disputed the ticket and surprisingly I won I won because he did not have the only reason why I won was because there were other cars that were involved in the accident and he didn't put those cars on the report at all he did not put the fact that the other car basically was speeding slammed on brakes with no signal or anything and turned into another lane and caused the whole entire accident he also didn't put down the white car that left the scene. He didn't have any of that. So when the judge heard my story, word for word, and all of my honesty, and he knew for a fact, like, I guess they can see your records and stuff like that. I guess he looked at my records and whatever. He saw that I didn't have, like, a lot of speeding records or tickets or anything like that. So he knew something was up. The officer was just trying to get another payday, unfortunately. And, um, and basically, you know, I won that case. But unfortunately, the insurance company would not take care of me due to the fact that um, they were saying that I was not covered that day of insurance. However, I had proof and evidence that my insurance was covered, everything was paid, and my lawyers and everything could not help me during the time. They kept rejecting me because during that time I had my ticket that said I was at fault. And even when I got everything cleared, and said that I was not at fault, they still weren't able to help me because they already rejected me. So it was hard finding a lawyer. So it's been two years now and the car is just sitting there 
and I'm someone in desperate need to really get it fixed. So if y'all guys would please go donate um, to my uh, my Patreon, and, and, and again, I'll put it up on the screen, it's patreon.com slash moto6sanity. And if y'all guys would go there, I would highly appreciate it, and I will um, put, like I said, a gift package in the um, in the donations. So when y'all guys donate to the channel and donate to my Patreon, I will send those out immediately as possible. I'm also getting this P.O. box set up so y'll uh, we can do start doing fan mails. And another awesome, cool announcement, guys. I got a drone. I have the DJI Spark. How about that? I have the DJI Spark, so expect a lot more cinematics coming soon, city footage, overhead footage, a whole bunch of stuff. It's going to be pretty cool, and um, yeah, I guess that's a, that's pretty much about it, really, guys, uh, for this monovlog. I'm wrapping it up right now simply because, like I said, my grandmother is severely ill. Um, she had a major stroke and a heart attack. She had brain surgery. She's not doing too well, and... Um, I'm just going through a lot right now, so th that's why I'm asking you guys to please help me because there's just so much that's going on right now. Life is way too short, and, um, you know, for all we know, the world can blow up right now, and there's nothing we can do about it, you know? And, um, you know, it's just, it's just crazy how certain illnesses and diseases can come out of nowhere. She also has Alzheimer's disease, so, you know, it's just it's crazy, guys, how, how short life is, but... Um, you know, like I said, if you guys could please donate to the uh, to the channel, donate to uh, my Patreon at Moto Six Sanity, and I would highly appreciate it. And um, yeah, we're just gonna have some fun, guys. This is season three, Moto Six Sanity, and I can't wait to get started with all of this awesome footage and everything else. I'm about to go fly my drone now for a little bit, so um, I guess let me get up here just a little bit more. There we go. I'm about to go fly my drone, and um, I hope y'all guys have an awesome Monday. This is Moto6 Sanity, and I am signing off. Time to go fly this drone, baby. I don't want to go all the way out there because I don't know if there's, like, nails or anything. Hopefully, this drone doesn't fly off and fly away from me, guys, so pray for me. Hopefully, this drone does not fly away. I almost crashed it the other night when I was in the yard, and... Um, it ran, into, it ran into the trees, so hopefully it, I'll have a little bit more room out here to fly it. So let's see how this goes. Take my key, pop this in, and that is good to go. Awesome. So I'm going to cut some footage right here. I'm about to go out here and set up the drone, let you guys take a look at it, and then I'll also do a review on it later in the future. Oh, Roxanne, you're looking good, Roxanne. Looking good, baby. New fairings coming soon too, by the way. Okay, I'm out in the middle of the field. If you guys don't know where this is, um, if you guys never really drove a drone before, this is my first time driving the DJI Spark. Uh, I do not have the controller or anything like that yet, so it's a little bit hard flying it with your just your um, tablet or phone. I have the remote on order. It should be here sometime soon. But um, this is the open field here in Orangeburg. This is over here by um, Orangeburg Athletic Club. Um, I'm not sure if that place is still open or not or whatever. But this is like an open, vacant field. And I'm surprised they don't have like a mall or a movie theater out here. If Orangeburg County is watching or whatever, y'all need to build a mall out here in a movie theater. Because we don't have a movie theater here in Orangeburg. We have to drive almost 45, 50 minutes to Columbia just to go to a movie or all the way to Somerville just to go watch a movie. So if y'all guys are watching this, yeah, we need a we need a movie theater. Anyway guys, alright, I have the drone right here in my bag. Here it is right here. You can see DJI. And look how small this thing is guys. Look at this. That is freaking small. My gosh, I still can't get over that. Every time I look at it, it's like, holy smokes. It's like, you know, it's just really that small. It really is that small, guys. It really is. But anyway, I'm about to go ahead and fly it. Um, hopefully, I might just add the, the footage in this. Hopefully, the footage comes out right. I have a 64 uh, gigabyte card in this, so it has enough memory to record a whole bunch of stuff. But hopefully, all of this works out great. So I'm about to go ahead and start flying this thing now. 
and um, hopefully I don't crash this thing or the wind doesn't blow it hopefully I got enough satellite signal and a home point and everything for this thing to return to so let's go ahead and get started and uh, hopefully I can use this footage thanks for watching guys catch you guys next time Here it is guys the DJI spark is right there flying it's a cute little drone I think we're gonna have a lot of fun doing some awesome aerial footage with this uh, this is the uh, base model. I would have got the fly more package, but this one was $499.99 and uh, the fly more package includes the battery and everything else with it. But I think this is going to be pretty cool. Hopefully if I... Maybe not. Oh man, this is pretty freaking awesome.